Well, we got another week of college football coming up, and of course, got two big games this weekend with Notre Dame playing Michigan and the big one, USC playing Ohio State, the horseshoe. I'm definitely looking forward to those, but of course, we got to talk about the Horns. And this week, the Texas Longhorns go with a tough road trip to play the Wyoming Cowboys. Um, once again, not a not a <laughs> really enticing game to talk about or look forward to watching. Of course, I'm, I love to see the guys play, see who can get some work in and stuff like that. Um, but I'm really, you know, looking forward to Texas Tech. So that being said, I don't expect the Horns to really put on much of a show. Um, Laramie's one of those places that you go, you don't lose there. It's not really an upset kind of place. But you go and you just don't play well. It's a long drive. Uh, I think the guys are looking for, I mean, It's human nature to look forward to playing Texas Tech, the team that beat you last year, at home, the whole revenge thing, the rivalry and whatnot. Uh, I hope they don't. I'm just, this is just what I think may happen. Um, You know, I looked at, I looked at the Wyoming uh, football site and and things of that sort, and this is huge for those guys. Uh, The Wyoming student base, the fan base, and everybody at that state, this is the biggest game in their history. I mean, that's what they're toting it as. I mean, this is the number two ranked team. Uh, This is the highest ranked team to ever come to Laramie. Uh, the place has been sold out. I mean, it, student tickets here were sold out quick. I couldn't even, I looked on those, and, and students here at UT are, are uh, really excited to, to head up to Wyoming and look at, the, look at the great country they got there and, you know, go watch the Horns play, and it's the place that we usually don't play at. And I listened to Mac on the radio, and, you know, Mac really didn't talk much about the, the Wyoming team. But he did talk about, um, you know, the fans that they're bringing in security from all over the state. And I think the stadium holds about 35,000 people. And what Max said is, you know, usually, you know, we get that treatment a lot when Texas goes on the road because whenever Texas goes somewhere, the place usually sells out. We're one of those programs. Um, And he compared the crowd. He said that the crowd will be like Oklahoma State's and Texas Tech's when we come to town. just won't be as many. Uh, and I guess I could see that. I mean, I've never been to Wyoming. I don't know anything about Wyoming. Um, I know they have like what six people per cubic foot. I don't know, uh, cubic mile. But um, he said that 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 should show how how crowd how loud it's going to be and how excited these fans are going to be. Uh, and and you know look you know how coaches do they they try to try to downplay their team and and really uh, hoist the other team up. Um, but what I would say is this: with Oak, I haven't been to Stillwater though. I will be this season uh, heading to Stillwater when we play them. But I have been to Tech, as y'all know, last season. And I've said before, and I said that's the most hostile environment I've ever been in. Uh, the crowd was loud. I mean, they hold Tech's Tech Stadium is about half the size of UT Stadium. But I have never heard our stadium as loud as I've ever heard that night uh, in Texas Tech when they played us and beat us uh, in the last second. So what I'll say, do the, does a crowd influence the game? Yes. Football football and basketball, really the crowd does have a lot of, you know, especially the football can mess up with the calls on the offense. It gets the team fired up, and it is. It's, it's something that the, the team feeds off of. That being said, if you don't have the product on the field to compete with the other team, the crowd noise is just an annoyance, and it'll probably end soon into the first quarter. Um, you know, Oklahoma State and Texas Tech have teams good enough to compete with Texas. And so those crowd noises at both those stadiums have an effect. Wyoming, I bet it will be loud. I bet the fans will be enjoying it. At the same time, last week they played Weber State and were in a dogfight and beat them 29-22. to It's not the same level, guys. And, I mean, if somehow Wyoming beat us, it would be the greatest upset in college football history. And I mean, Appalachian State, Michigan, we saw what Michigan was. Texas this season is looking towards a Rose Bowl. That's that's what our goal is. And if a team like Wyoming beat us, that would be the biggest upset of all time. So, like I said, I think the spread is 33 points for Texas. Do I think we'll cover? We might. But I, I'm really I, I, I'm expecting some sloppiness from the guys. I hope not. I hope it's crisp, but I'm just kind of preparing myself to not get too upset with them. Um, but I think Texas will roll easily. Um, you know, I'm excited for the Wyoming fans. They get to see, you know, a, a top-ranked team come in. And um, the game's on versus at 2.30, so I'll be switching back between that and Notre Dame, uh, see if Michigan can beat them. 
So, but I, I think it'll be fun uh, to watch the game, watch the guys, uh, at least for the first two quarters. Um, but I do, I do expect Wyoming to come out in the first quarter and give us somewhat of a game because, like the fans, I think the team is excited to uh, to get a chance to play one of the top teams in the country and one of the top programs of all time. So, Texas, Texas will win big. May not be as crisp as we'd like as Texas fans, but I think that look ahead towards Texas Tech may get us a little bit, but we'll be fine and we'll come up with a victory. So, Hook'em Horns, Texas fight. We'll see you guys later. Hook'em Horns.